Hi everyone, Graham Peterson here with Live 365, and in this video we are going to be covering how to convert and upload multiple audio files to your station so that you can create and organize your playlists online. This is especially useful if you're looking to upload multiple tracks at the same time. So to begin, you will need to download an FTP client. Now there are lots of them out there, but in today's demonstration, I will be using FileZilla because it is free. However, if you already have an FTP client, you may use that one instead. So to download FileZilla, open your web browser and type in www.download.com. And once you are there, search for FileZilla in the search bar. Now to download this program, click the Download Now button and follow the prompts to install the software. And once you have downloaded the FTP client, you will need to convert your tracks to MP3 format and encode them to the proper bitrate. To do this, open iTunes and select Preferences from the iTunes drop-down menu. For PC users, Preferences is located in the Edit menu. In the General tab, click the Import Settings. Now, select MP3 Encoder from the Import Using drop-down menu and Custom from the Setting menu. Be sure to select the bitrate closest to your broadcast. For example, if you are streaming at 64 kilobits per second, select 64 kilobits per second from this menu. Click OK to save the settings. In your iTunes library, highlight the song that you would like to convert, then click on Advanced and select Create MP3 Version. Once the MP3 version has been created, you may drag the file and drop it in a new folder on your desktop. Now that you have converted your audio files to MP3 format, open the FTP client and log in with your username and FTP password available on your broadcast status page or provided to you by customer support. For the host, please use FTP Dot live 365com Once this is complete, simply drag and drop the desired files to the window under Remote Site. You can see the progress of the upload in the window at the bottom of the screen. When all of the tracks have been uploaded, log in to your Live 365 broadcasting account at live365.com. Once inside your account, click the Tracks tab at the top of the page. Then, Advanced Tools. Now, click the Go button under Sync Tracks to sync your Live 365 account with the newly uploaded files. This will sync all of your newly uploaded tracks and give you the ability to use your new audio files in your broadcast. 